Lane Swap! Well, hey everyone, my name is Jay 4 and welcome to Lane Swap, where we force music industry professionals to play your favorite video games. Today on the show, we have Ariana Hume and Cassidy Gephardt, co-graduates of Belmont University, co-founders of Liberty Music Academy, and renowned for their commitment to their creative musical students. How are you both doing today? Good. Do you guys know what you're uh, going to be doing? Yeah. Playing a video game and talking to you. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you're going to be playing a video game, but we are going to attempt to interview you while we do that. Would you like to uh, find out the game that we chose for you today? For sure. sure. Overcooked. Overcooked! Ian, the editor here. Overcooked is a collaborative kitchen nightmare where you play as animal chefs. Or people in wheelchairs. Or animals in wheelchairs. With an emphasis on cooperation. Theoretically. Have you heard of that game before? <laughs> no. Okay. Wait, so, how do you hold it? Yeah, what is this? <laughs> oh my god, it's a giant meatball. <laughs> the only way to save oh yourself from the apocalypse. Is to, is to cook? Is to cook. I love how he has a dog. <laughs> Bark. Bark. Kevin! <laughs> oh my gosh. This is like Ghostbusters Skitty. with no. the Marshmallow Man. Oh my gosh. But it's a meatball. <laughs> I, am, I am yellow. I'm the wheelchair with, man. With the, what do we have to do? Up. We have to work together. Wait, it's teamwork. Oh, that movie. Why yep. am I all alone over here? <laughs> I'm just so not can, doing anything yet. And then you go to the top and press the up button. <laughs> and chop uh, it. Wait, what? I just don't like that he's ah! the bad guy and we have to do what he wants. I love how nobody's questioned the fact that the monster is giving us tips. Tomato. Can we use kitchen lingo? Thank you, tomato. Tomato. <laughs> what did I do? Nice. Okay. Yeah. The beast, <laughs> the beast cannot, cannot be satisfied. No. <laughs> I mean, all I asked for was lettuce. Hey, what? <laughs> what are we doing? A moat. I want to. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us a little bit about your prior gaming experience. I have a little brother. We both have mm -hmm. a little brother. He got, I don't know what to do. He got an Xbox and uh, he didn't want me to play with him anymore. So I was like, fine, whatever. Soup. So what oh. are some of the games that really impacted you? Wait, wait. Um, I will tell you one. I didn't play it. My brother played it, but I just, what am I supposed to do with these? <laughs> <laughs> I just remember hearing him play Pikmin. Okay. Pikmin. My brother, he was really into like Call Shop of Duty. Onion. My parents, I think this is what happened, wouldn't let him use the uh, the live thing where he can like play with other people. And so my brother would always be like, hey, will you please play with me? <laughs> and I'd be like, no, I'm terrible at this. Well, we did well. Did we? What made y'all decide to found Liberty Music, Music Academy? We started playing together. Oh, at church, we had a really awesome situation where they no. let us use the building no. during the week. Oh, I don't know what I should be doing. Delegating is the most important part of this game. Okay. Oh, we love to delegate. That's like we're our, really good at it. Our strength. Oh no, I oh. put a tomato in the onion soup. Okay, this needs yeah, to be thrown out. So we started teaching, and then we were like, you know, what would be better <laughs> is if we did this together. We're not okay. gonna fail anymore. Awesome. You know, yes, this is this is how how businesses are started. You <laughs> del true. you delegate. Yeah. yeah, that was really hard for us at first, and like years later now, it's it's easy. What do you think separates Liberty Music Academy from other music uh, professional music lesson services here in Nashville, Tennessee? I think what makes us different is whoa 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 <laughs> what's <laughs> happening. <laughs> Why did that just do that? Are we gonna get squished? <laughs> this on. makes it so much harder. Is, I don't like okay. video games. <laughs> uh, we, we, yes. <laughs> no! <laughs> this is why I stopped working in restaurants. I think that a lot of schools in Nashville are focused too much on like just okay, performance. Changing. The reason that that's bad is because you're creating this like performance product. Yes, no, wait. It's it's a lot easier to just be like, okay, then like do this and put your hands here and whatever. And you can skip over a lot of like <laughs> the more time consuming aspect of what music lessons can and should mm. be, which is like, no, like why am I putting my hands here? Like, what am I actually learning? Why is this important? If you've ever been in piano lessons before, I'm sure you have the experience of like, I work so hard on this piece and then I like 
Yeah. Can never play it again after. If I don't keep it up, I don't have it anymore. There's a lot of other instances where it's like, well, if you have the theory and it's like wow. you're learning a chord chart song or like whatever, you're learning these songs in different ways that are not just like totally sheet music based, mm -hmm. that stuff sticks with you. And that's yeah. like lifelong type of learning, not just like, yes, yes. dance monkey. So you'd say one of the most important aspects of Liberty Music Academy is inspiring a lifelong learning mentality. Lifelong learning mentality, but also just like learning music in a well-rounded way so that you have the skills that you need. They just stay with you. Uh -oh. Cheeseburger time. Why can't, ah! why can't, Get out of my way. sorry. So what type of services does LMA offer? Private voice, piano, guitar, bass, drum lessons on like a weekly basis. Uh, ah. <laughs> Describe the worst part about this game. The burgers. <laughs> okay, it's cooking. That's... Oh, and then we have to watch how... <sighs> oh, well, uh, fire, uh, fire, 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 yeah, fire. You, you might want to put that out. I'm trying. And fires all the time? The fires. I have it, but it's not doing <laughs> anything. <laughs> Why? What do I press? I'm stressed out. Uh, the timer hasn't started stop yet. It. But also the fire hasn't stopped yet. I know. <laughs> <laughs> the timer has not started yet on this level because we have not completed one burger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, our band program. Oh. Okay. Yeah, let's talk about the our band. Our band program is Good. amazing. And in 2024, we're going to launch this new three-tiered system. You can be in like the first tier, which is like yeah, new kids, and then like a medium and then like a third tier. And then there's different stuff that comes with all of them. I need a bun, give me that bun. I will. Give me that bun. Yes. A lot of our kids want to be like doing music, like how we are doing music professionally, whether yes. that's as an artist, as like a side guy, session musician. So speaking of <laughs> your work-life balance, being session musicians, um, <laughs> oh, this is me, that and is me. church musicians <laughs> and teaching lessons and all that, how do you balance all of that together? We're crazy all the time. Work-life balance. Uh, it's really hard. <laughs> it takes a lot of like sweat equity at first. Mm. There's a lot of uh, just work that we have to be doing. We can't really afford to pay people to do it yet. Yep. Um, and so it's all on us because it's our baby and it's our passion project. Excuse me. And it's <laughs> get out of my way. <laughs> we both have to do stuff outside of LMA currently. <laughs> <laughs> the guy was watching. Well, yeah, you mentioned uh, sessions and church and a few different things that you guys yeah. do. What am I holding? No, I don't want that. It looks like a pancake. I have my own personal piano studio outside of LMA. Soup is burning. What do I do with the soup now? I'm sorry. I'm just holding this soup. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this gosh. is not what we thought we were doing today. I know. <laughs> In 2021, we were able to bring on extra people. I stepped down mm -hmm. as the piano instructor she stepped on as the voice instructor and so like mm -hmm. that was number one like a work-life balance thing is kind of like figuring out that separation there's all of this like admin extra yep. figuring out stuff for me personally like i am trying to do my own artist thing mm -hmm. and have like an album that i've been working on right Hard. now like we mm -hmm. have to just do what we have to do to get it all done whether yeah. that means like you're working a million 12 hour days or yeah having no breaks and no routine if you no want to go down the route of starting your own business you have to be willing to do that because that's yeah. just what being mm -hmm. an entrepreneur is right and we decided to go that route as things unfold then you have to step up to the plate ah! <laughs> I'm ashamed. so both of you are active performers here in nashville what are some of the coolest projects projects oh, yeah. that you've been able to we are excited about this question on. what do we do <gasps> what is happening <laughs> oh no how do we, the apocalypse. How do we get up there now? Are we oh stuck? Oh my God. I can't, I don't have legs. Oh no, there's gonna be a fire. We may have a fire. So I think something that's funny about Nashville is just like, you don't ever know what you're gonna get out of the people that you know and the connections. We actually had a summer camp called As Aspiring Artist Camp. I was working it with her husband, Ariana. <laughs> Her husband, uh, Ryan. Me. <laughs> me and my husband, me. <laughs> we had guests come in every day. And the this final is... guest that we had is um, an amazing oh, artist, no. keyboard player, person in town named Mike Hicks. We were just talking afterwards, and I was like, oh my gosh, like I wrote oh. this song inspired by one of the songs that you have. Thank you for the inspiration. Like, let me send you the song. If you want to listen to it, you can listen to it. I get a text from him, ah. and he was just like, oh my gosh, the song that you wrote is amazing. Can I send it to PJ? And I know Mike knows PJ Morton. Yeah, you can send it to PJ Morton. <laughs> 
I'm like, yeah. <laughs> and my text, I'm trying to be really cool. And then he sends me screenshots back of PJ being like, wow, like, I love this. I had posted, like, a little clip of me singing it on my Instagram. And he didn't just share it to his story. Like, he reposted my post and was like, I just appreciate when people are out there making good stuff. So yeah. here you go. And then it was my song. And I was like, it's whoa, food truck. On- a truck. We are on a truck. And there's two trucks. How do we get to the other truck? I am more on the um, sync side, like music for hire. And so a lot of my clients are international clients too. And I had this one that was really funny. I was (laughs) asked to sing a song and then it ended up in a biscuit commercial in Italy. It was like this little girl with a cookie and I was just singing in the background. Again, like you just can't plan for this stuff. You just do your jobs and then... Yeah. Figure it out. And that's really like what we're trying to teach like kids too is right. like that there's more to do in the music industry than just Yeah. Write songs and be famous. <laughs> no. Wait, did you die? I died. You can fall <laughs> off. You can fall and die, yes. Give it a little right. No Oh no. <laughs> did you die? Oh no. Guys We're gonna have a fire. Uh, we're stuck over here <laughs> and the fire's over there. All of our burgers. <laughs> Who's gonna do the fire? I think we're getting better. Mm. Okay, so we are making soup. Why are there rats? Hold on. <laughs> ah! What is he doing? This is disgusting. You kick can kick them. the rat. Kick, 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 <laughs> Sorry. kick, 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 Stop. kick. What do I do? Will they? Will oh. they steal chopped ingredients? I kick yes. the rat. They'll no! steal everything. No. Should have told us about the rats. <laughs> I am upset. <laughs> What are yes. some of the most fun Kick. stories that uh, you can share with us? So we had a, someone come in and he was teaching them about like, you can write about anything. Detail, detail, detail. And one of the kids was like struggling. He's looking at his notebook and he's like, I just don't know what I should do. I'm just like staring at this blank page. And I was like, write a song called Blank Page. And he comes back and like, he likes hip hop and rap. And so we like made a track on Garage Band and the chorus of a song was, I'm staring at a blank page all day. I don't know what to do. I, I don't, don't know, know what, what to say. say. I'm, I'm staring, staring at a blank, blank page all day. day. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't know what to say. And it was like a total banger. It was really great. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. yeah, they write really silly little songs all the time. Yeah. Justin Bieber superhero, that was one. And then Seafood on Mars, evil raccoons or something. <laughs> They'll kill you while you're sleeping. Okay, this has weird conveyor belts also. I like the That go belts. into trash cans? No, I don't like the conveyor belts. So right now, we have like a really kind con- Hey! A really- Hey! Ian! <laughs> Let me chop! <laughs> Stop <laughs> it! So Are you on our team or not? <laughs> What is the most difficult aspect of managing a school from both the faculty and student perspective? The behind the scenes, like everything that you need to do to have your Ah, systems all operating, like getting the schedule together. And she was able to put together our website and she's created this like crazy intricate uh, system for calendars. I mean, we're just dealing with like a business what? where we have tiny little meetings stacked. Why is it? And there's why is so it? many people involved. It's burger time, not talking time. <laughs> Sorry. We're hey. invincible. We failed almost as many orders as we delivered. Who is that? Is that the horse? Who do you think it is? Ian. <laughs> we would not have a business if we didn't have yeah. teachers to teach the kids in a way that like aligned with our our standards and vision our and our standards vision. and our like mission statement but we're really lucky to have great teachers and i feel like yeah. pretty much every time we've hired someone they stick around and we're really happy with them oh what the heck is <gasps> happening whoa chop the fries oh, put it I? in the fryer chop the fries and put it in the did you just fall off no put it down oh, oh my god really i don't like hard. this one this is really hard oh no to oh the, my god. To the... This has not turned out particularly well. This is really what hard. What are we doing? Oh. <laughs> we are floundering. Yeah. Oh, I just died. Look at this potato <laughs> just chilling over here. I got it. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Potato. No. Get go. out of my way. Oh. Get me out of here. No. Mine is-
now. <laughs> we, 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 what? we passed. <laughs> We're amazing. I didn't even, I didn't do a single thing correct in that oh. one. So uh, what performance classes do you guys offer and how does it impact your students being in such a collaborative process? We have the monthly performance classes and in these classes they're um, performing for each other so they kind of have an incentive to practice at home and have things ready to go. They're also uh, going to be learning how to talk to each other in like kind and supportive this. ways. Onion, we need onion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was kind of supportive. Yeah. So you would say it's an important skill for your students to learn collaboration and cooperation. And good communication. Yes. Exactly. Like Just like you would need in a, in a professional kitchen. Setting. Yay! That felt really good. Oh. That is probably the best that we've ever done. <gasps> <gasps> Well, thank you so much, Ariana and Cassidy, for coming onto the show. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more content. And let us know in the comments section down below what your favorite game to ruin a perfectly good interview is. Woo, woo, woo. Yeah. I kind of like this, actually. It's a fun game. No, no, this level. I didn't. The rest has been hard. Larson!